Yo, what is up, DOT community? This is Jaeger bringing you an event rundown for Ragnarok, which is a just a little over three and a half day event featuring the return of two Viking Titans, Solgar and Arvan. Now with this, we're going to do, as usual, a full event rundown, and I've been out for a couple of events, uh, just some real life stuff going on but i'm glad to be back in the swing and hope you guys are looking forward to another event rundown and uh, let's go ahead and just really kind of kick off into what this event has to offer if you haven't already gotten started with it already but ragnarok has arrived now to give you a little history on ragnarok it is kind of like the end of days for asgard but also kind of the rebirth so norse gods themselves are coming down to the end of days as the focus is going to switch but what we have is Arvan and Solgar have been recharged right with an all-new set of skills Arvan is now going to be boosting Storm Maidens and Goliaths both with X skills while Solgar is going to boost Storm Maidens and Panthers again both with X skills the one thing to kind of keep in mind is uh, I don't think we've got any confirmation that they are going to have set skills uh, as far as what exactly they're going to be but you're looking at a titan offensive tier three you're looking at two times storm maiden x skills and two times goliath x skills for arvan uh, and for solgar again not very off from there whatsoever again starting out with an offensive tier three and then you go into double storm maidens double panthers but no confirmation on exactly what they are uh, now we're also looking at some much awaited relics we've got the four star reinforced grip which is going to be bringing you Titan Lightning Damage, Storm Maiden AP, and the Lightning Storm spell. This is going to give you three of those, whereas the three star gives you two. So if you have both the three star and the four star, you actually can get five free Lightning Storm spells on the battlefield. You also have the four star Runic Tattoo. Uh, again, this one here is going to give you Storm Maiden Health, Armor, and then also a Physical Resist guaranteed for that last skill. And we know... Uh, believe the confirmation is that the runic tattoo is going to eventually have a mixture of all different resists for that last slot but this is a guaranteed physical we also see the uh, rune here come in and uh, this here we've got the lightning titan and troop damage a lightning spell and titan resist all damage now that skill last one needs a little bit of clarification what exactly falls into the all damage is it just elemental or are we talking things like flank and um range resist i don't know we'll see but a lot of people are talking about that relic possibly going on to valkyrie has been the name coming up for uh, quite a bit uh talking about the boost here you've got human and viking titans that will give you the boost uh, solgar himself and uh gives you a boost 1.2 and you can even go in and use uh, any of like the grimvald or skull grim you can use siegfried the brand new talon all of them if they're a four star will give you a 1.2 boost again a four star viking or human uh so feel free to utilize that i'm sure everyone's got a you know a good number of people have that talent they want to level up or still working on some of even the new vikings they got last time and i mean hey you could even use the brand new solgar and arvan because they are already available as the four star titans in the uh, drops for the end of season rewards and that also offered some unique consideration for the actual value of what this event was going to be do i consider these titans do i give them a gem value or do i actually consider them basically free because you can get them for free in end of season rewards but you know we'll kind of give them a little bit of value like a token or temple kind of pull but let's go ahead and run through the boosts we've got here uh, we see the return of the eights all the way through 18 percent uh, 1800 percent boost for a four star 900 percent boost for a three star 450 percent boost for a two star and a 300 percent boost for a one star uh, now hopefully you also were pretty lucky and were able to collect quite a few of these boost relics from the theaters of war that just happened um, i know myself i feel pretty fortunate i was able to walk away with five event relics from there uh, all primarily two stars and one stars but you know, I will most likely use some of them to even get in and earn myself uh, some of the additional tokens and the portal stones. I think it'd be better to collect those than to save these relics for a future event because I don't know if I'm going to full on finish this event right now with some of the things we just learned about in the live stream. But let's go through these rewards. Uh, as the stream just kind of slides through, I'm just going to do my good old breakdown. So feel free to kind of wander in and out of whatever you're looking for you want to see it or you want to hear it. i'm giving you both but it's a 22,000 soul event which means it's broken down into six tiers we've got the purple tier we've got the blue tier we'll have the bronze we'll have the silver gold 
uh, platinum all the way throughout here. So a pretty traditional breakdown, but 22,000 soul is a bit expensive. Some of the big things you can walk away from this, I think are the portal stones, a really good increased value here. We have a total of 350 portal stones, a uh, bundle of 50, bundle of 100, as you see here, and then a bundle of 200 that come up a little, a little later. That's 2,100 gem value right there, which again, I don't factor these portal stones into what the actual cost of this event is gonna be. And I'll get to that in a moment. We also have a pretty decent gem bundle in here. I'd say on the higher side of what we've seen lately, not the highest side of the events, but compared to what we've seen lately, it's been pretty decent. We also do get a good old Runa in this event, as you can see, or 1500 souls, and hey, who doesn't love getting Runa? Best garrison defender ever. Right, but uh, let's talk gems. You've got a hundred bundle, a two hundred and fifty bundle. You've got a seven fifty bundle, a fifteen hundred and twenty two fifty scattered throughout the different tiers. Uh, that gives you a total of forty eight fifty, which is at least enough for two token pulls uh, or relic pulls, whatever the boost pulls you want to call them. Uh, as far as tokens go, you can see we've got tokens pretty close together throughout here, especially very early on. Uh, and then uh, another later one here at the 6,500 in the silver tier. But in total, you've got four tokens. So that's an 8,000 value. Not to mention these uh, titans. You know, I'm just even picking on Wolfric right here as he's there. One of the... Uh, Titans available in here, pre-leveled at level 10. He's the only three-star Titan, but I do give those level 10s an 8,000 gem value along with the Runa, even an 8,000 gem value, just because it's almost like getting an epic token, even though it's not all that epic, but it's there. Uh, when we talk about divine gems that are also available throughout here, we've got a total of 500, so that can get you another uh, pull in the altar or saving up towards maybe a 5,000 or 10,000 divine gem pull. Uh, and we do have the one and only epic token right here at 10,500 souls. Other things to just kind of factor in with the relics, we've got three two-star relics, three three-star relics, including the return of the reinforced grip right here at 12,000 souls, which, you know, Maybe another opportunity to get that if you want to have a few of those. But the one thing that's tricky about a lot of the three-star and under relics that have been in this event so far is the fact that they've already been available several times now. A previous event and two at Theaters of War where a lot of people have received these drops. The one part that is nice about this event is the four-star relics and also the four-star titans. Our van right here at 14,000 souls. Uh, again, we've got four four-star relics, including the Orb of Duality, which makes another return. Very few people, I think, were able to get the, from the uh, recent drops of the Theaters of War, but uh, if you did, kudos to you. It's one thing I was hoping to get. We do also see the introduction of the four-star Runic Tattoo and the four-star Reinforced Grip. This is the first time these are available. And we have the second of only two four-star Titans available in here at 18,000. So the Titans are not even the max reward. You're going all the way up to 22,000 for additional relics. Again, the Runic Tattoo, the Reinforced Grip, 350 Divine Gems. And then we've got at the very last reward here, 22,000 souls, we have the brand new four-star Storm Rune. Now, we're going to take a look at what that has to offer, but again, we kind of talked a little bit. You'll get a chance to see percentages here as another player had posted it. I think a screen grab from uh, the live stream earlier that uh, what those skill sets kind of come in for with that relic. Again, a lot of people are talking about maybe, you know, maybe where does this go, but uh, Valkyrie maybe is an option. You know, I think it just kind of depends on how you're building out your Titans. So let's go ahead and just break this event down for a moment. 22,000 souls at 12 souls per raid. 1.2 boost is hopefully what you're getting with that. Uh, it's going to cost you 1,834 raids. 5,502 portal stones or 33,012 gems to refresh those portal stones all the way through, not considering anything you get for free in the event. But here's your storm room. 30% Titan and Army Lightning Damage, 3 gain Lightning Spells, and 24% Titan Resist against all damage. The big question here, what does that all damage include? Is it elemental or is it other types? Why Valkyrie on this thing? I think it's more to cap off defenses and maybe her damage because she boosts spearmen and grenadiers so that army lightning damage isn't a big benefit you know but what can you get with this being an alliance reward uh going through you've got your top five get an opportunity to get a second solgar if they complete all the way through the event of course i have no doubts they do top one gets a level 30 two gets a level uh 20 three gets a level 10 and four and five get a level five we then drop from solgar down to arvan but let me give you a little bit more on the breakdown all of the rewards that are in those individual milestones, 70,100 gem value. So the cost is if you had to buy them for altars, temples, tokens, things like that. Plus the 4,850 total gems you get. It's a an event value of 74,950. 
compared to the 33,012 gems it would cost you. So you're basically getting double your gem value if you do gem pay to refresh all the way through this. If you're buying, you know, relic boost at 2,000 a pop, then of course your costs might go up, might stay steady, depends on what you need. But here we go, six through 50, get a, an Arvan, uh, either level five, level 10. We see the Titan Souls, we see the Epic Token, and then we see the traditional gems all the way through here from 3,000 down to 2,000, down to 1,500, down to 500, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, these gems have stayed pretty constant. We also have seen the token and the XP stay pretty constant. The Titans have for the past couple of events also been the ones that have held on to those top 50 ranks. Uh, we haven't, you know, seen uh, for a while we were seeing divine gems kind of take go over those top ranks uh, for a bit but now we're definitely back into the swing of titans being the top reward um, you know and as long as you can place in the top 10,000 then you can at least get 200 gems from this so if you're new to the game this is actually a pretty traditional format for an event this is probably our most common style of soul event uh, that we see in the game that runs on this whole Thursday through Sunday. Uh, sometimes it might run through a Monday, depending on when it starts. But let me know, what are your thoughts on this event, the rewards, the cost of it too, and these brand new Titans, Solgar and Arvan with their new skill set. But thanks for tuning in. I'm Gaming Jaeger, and I'm signing out.